You'd never know by looking at Nellie DeJoya of Fairway that she's part of medical history. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. But one day before this visit with her doctor, she became the first person in the state of Kansas and the region to receive a revolutionary kind of pacemaker for her heart. It's the smallest one ever made. And best of all, it has no leads like a traditional pacemaker. Doctors at the University of Kansas Hospital implanted the device in a simple non-surgical procedure that eliminates the risks that can come with a traditional pacemaker. Those traditional devices require the doctor to make a surgical incision in the chest where the pacemaker permanently sits in a pocket under the skin. The leads from the device go through the veins into the heart, delivering the electrical pulses that keep the heart beating at a normal rate. The new device eliminates all that by combining the pulse generator on the end attached to the heart with the battery on the other end, all in one miniature device. Here's how it works. Doctors run the device through an artery in the patient's leg up to the inside of the heart. Once it's in the right position, the doctor, with the help of a special tool, removes the protective cover and actually screws the tiny device right into the inside wall of the heart. Dr. D.J. Lacaretti is the electrophysiologist who implanted this first device, part of a clinical trial, and he says the advantages for patients are tremendous. This is definitely the way of the future. Patients don't have pain in the chest, risk of infection goes down dramatically, risk of lung puncture, and all those go down significantly. And patient ambulates much faster, so there are no limitations in their arms, not going up and down, uh, stretching the arms by mistake, and all those things do not exist. So the overall patient comfort is unbelievable. The longevity of the, of the device is, is, is much better. Patients also don't require nearly as much anesthesia, which means they're up and around much quicker. Just like Barbara Moore of Leewood, who was the second patient to receive this new pacemaker. Less than 24 hours after her procedure, she was ready to go home, telling her doctors how great she felt and talking about resuming a lifestyle she thought she'd have to give up. I have been a very active person in the past. I like to hike in the mountains. Uh, I exercise a lot and all that was over. I couldn't do any of that anymore. Even going up a flight of stairs would leave me breathless. So I'm hoping to get my life back. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Bob Hallinan. We can turn that back on, one of these.